Guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday night. I'm going to do a little bit of videotaping before we do our trip on this, this weekend, Friday night. But I got a package here that I am unraveling. Guys, look at that. The Eskimo Outbreak 650 XD. I'm going to be using this this weekend for sure. Probably an overnight fishing trip. Guys, it is Friday night. We are out here partying. What are you doing on a Friday night? This is what we do. We get out here at midnight, drive all night, and we go on fishing. Just digging in, digging in my house for the weekend. That's what I'm doing. Wesley just hooked a fish. What? Three, four pound burbot. This one feels bigger. But, we'll see. Oh yeah. Come on, fishy. Well, might not be as big as I thought. Because he's already up here. Oh, it's a good, oh yeah, it's a big burbot. Oh yeah, that's a nice burbot. Probably eight to 10. Big fish coming in high. Oh, he's so dialed. Guys. Wesley is on. You got a Laker on. Let me just move my chair so I can back up better. Yeah. It was about this time last trip, Sean lost his right at the hole. His hook got hooked on the edge of the ice, so I'm a little bit stressed. I've been uh, kind of getting to the surface and loosening my drag off here. Just had the line get caught in the edge of the bottom of the ice, so I went in to free it up there. I can feel it scuffing as it rolls around. It's a big fish. Oh, oh, oh nice. No, not huge. No, it's a nice one. It's just skinnier. Let's see. Beauty. Well, toy, I bet you that's 32, 34. Beautiful Laker heading home here. Nice. Let's go, buddy. I'm going to try and hang out in the center of this. Yeah. How far up? That's like five, six feet up. Bites in here. I was looking for my cell phone, and Sean says, "Hey, look, a fish is coming in." So what do I do naturally? I uh, pick up my fishing rod and I go, "Ooh, I'm on!" <laughs> but you've never seen a banana slay burbot in Lakers like this before. Kind of rolled, I think. I can see him right here. But he uh, came up pretty much halfway up. I hooked this fish on bottom and he came up halfway really fast. And then he kind of realized he was hooked. But he's doing some pretty fancy river moves under the ice here. But another 30 inch Laker. Still got lots of spunk. Gone. Good job, buddy. Whew. I had rolled in the line. So what I want to do is inspect my line where he rolled and I can feel a bunch of nicks in it. So I'm going to cut six or eight inches off and retie so we don't have problems in the future. Let's sat on it and just poof. 
Oh, this is my favorite fishing rod I own, too. Well, I guess I'll just continue to jig. If I hook a fish, you're gonna have to hold this part of the rod for me, and I'll run the reel. <laughs> Well, look at this. Look at this. I got more finesse now. That was a G Loomis IMX Pro, and it's not like you broke it at the tip. Well, I mean, it depends. That could be the tip. Did the banana suit get in the way? Yeah. It got stuck in my suit. See, bananas are bad luck fishing. <laughs> oh, no. No, I think it's his tail. That's just a perfect swimming, right? Yeah. He's taking me back to bottom here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Wesley. Oh, I can't even hardly lift it. I gotta get him back in the water. Uh, run outside and grab the cradle. Yeah. As you can see, this burbot wants to curl up. Kind of a trick I learned last trip. It's if you get burbot slime all over your banana suit and then get slapped in the face. This guy still has quite a bit of spunk, but if you cradle them by the belly, they will straighten out like that for you. So they like to be supported. Okay, we're gonna weigh this fish. Uh, last year we did some videos and we were weighing them with the scale. So uh, learned a little bit from that video. Uh, this year we brought a cradle with us so sean's going to uh zero the scale in the cradle we're going to just weigh this scale for the cradle so at 1.9 pounds two pounds so now we're going to put the bourbon in okay put bourbon in you're going to have to hold it and so yeah if you can kind of usually roll this sucker up oh, yeah and then we'll just kind of give it a hook see doodles we got my 11 pounder there i was going to keep one this fish we're gonna let go here so 17 and a half so that's a 15 and a half pound burpet get a quick length of them 30 probably oh, wow. gain 30. 37 yeah yeah probably about 37 we have burpet slime everywhere okay i'm getting this fish head at home If you watch on the live scope, should make his way down. Oh, there he goes. Down, 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 down. Oh, he just hit me. He's all over me. You see, though, he's kind of all over me, it looks like. On! Yeah, I got him. I am hooked up. It has been a while. It has been a Wesley show. Oh, it is a burbot. Oh, it's a nice burbot. That's a nice fish. I don't know if you could say burbot or nice. Oh, that's a big one. Whoa. 12 pounder. That's a bit of a humpback one. Definitely not over 10, 12 pounds. We're just going to let this fish go. Guys, Wesley just put on a hook with a bit of a blade on the end of it and had a fish on. And about 10 minutes later, hey, would you say? Just hooked this other one. This is probably going to be a big burbot. Oh, I'm at the mono. It's right here. Oh, it's a big burbot. Oh, it's a really big burbot. It's a laker. Oh, a nice laker. Big lake trout.
My first Laker of the trip. Just tap and bottom there. We're not even going to take a picture of this. Get this hook out. Just tap and bottom. About 30, probably a 30 inch Laker. We are looking for a big one, so let this guy go. There he's gone. On the board with the Laker. Guys, it's slowed down. We had the morning rush, morning chaos. I guess I just caught that Laker, but the fish just aren't like we're marking them on the sonar. They're coming in, but they're not committing. What would you have to say about that, Wesley, to our viewers? Washed up. We are washed up already, and it's only noon. Wesley's sleeping and I'm eating cured deer meat and cheese. You take a chunk of deer meat and you use cheese. And the ideal thing would be to have crackers, but I don't have any. This video is going to be all Wesley. Broken dreams, broken bananas, broken burbot. You've never seen a giant banana catch a burbot before. I'm gonna break this fishing rod. I should put more effort in here. I'm still kind of sad. Maybe it's good luck. The broken rod. You just caught a fish. That's a small burbot. Ba -ba -ba burbot. Juicy squirt berries. Reese's bars. <laughs> oh, big. Oh my goodness! Oh! What a tank! Oh boy! Oh man! Oh! <laughs> what a tank! Oh, and Wesley's gone! All right, guys, I'm going to take a length for this fish. It's huge and fat. Thirty six. Oh, yeah, thirty six. All right, guys, zero it out. I'm going to get this fish in the cradle. Wesley just went to shore to grab some firewood but I want to get a weight on this fish before I get him back so the cradle weighs two pounds let's unbuckle that I'll show you guys that thing's going 19 pounds so that's a 17 17 pound fish in the cradle. 17 pound burbot. 36 inch. What a giant. Look at that fish. Freaking monster. Wesley's gone to get firewood and I hooked a giant. I'm gonna get him back now. Oh yeah. Ooh, 
What a tank. We are gonna have Burbot nighttime sleigh by the fire. You're still jigging? The fish is all over you. Big burbot! Oh my goodness! <sighs> Slimer! Probably 33 inch. Got him. Do I throw him on the fire? No, maybe. I'm gonna throw him back in. Do you want to tell the viewers? Why we're wearing banana suits? Do we even know why? Because we can. <laughs> Guys, we are back in the shack. We did not do great after a couple of those bourbon outside. But it is six o'clock. We are eating pizza. Wesley is eating pizza. Hi Wesley. That's why we get pizza guys. We just heat it up in front of the heater and keeps it simple. So hopefully we get some burbot tonight and go to bed. I uh just happened to look over to the live scope and I said, hey, Sean, three, two, one. And then I had to go three, two, one again. But then at the end of the second three, two, one, it bit. I'm uh, just using some glow, small, probably three eighths glow ounce or glow uh, or three eighths ounce glow jig with a uh, full glow rubber body from the hooked up angling in Spruce Grove. It's kind of poured in store. And uh, these are our results. I'll show you here in a second. Bam. Okay, bourbon heading home. I will uh, show you guys what I'm using here not big the results can be big um see what i got here i just got a uv flashlight canadian tire certified give her a shot i like to kind of give it 10 15 seconds uv shut her off and how bright she glows What's going on over there? Oh, just, you know, hooked up on a bubbit. I'm trying to lay down. This guy's catching tanks. You have to beat 17 pounds, because mine today was like 16 pounds, 8 ounces. Look at the screen. What's happening? That's a big fish. You are zoomed in. <laughs> That's a big one. We might have to weigh this fish. Oh, the hook came right out. The hook was barely in his mouth. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What a donkey. What a donkey. Just a tank. Hold on. That's okay. Good. Guys, on that note, we are going to bed. Well, Sean might be. It's 8 o'clock. Wesley said he's he might jig while he's in bed. But I'm going to bed because I already caught a 17-pound burbot today. Wesley may have caught more, but it's all about the biggest fish. Right, Wesley? She told me size doesn't matter. Well, we can't put that in the video. <laughs> all right, guys. Good night, and we'll see you in the morning. 
Good morning. 6.30 in the morning and my friend decides to fish okay. for bourbon first thing. This is bourbon number three. <laughs> oh, it's a beast. Let's check this fish. Out. Oh yeah, look at that one. That's a nice one. Okay. <laughs> That's a 6.30 a.m. release. What do you mean? <laughs> you watch them go down. Yeah. Things are good, guys. Nobody's keeping track, but this is Burbot 4 for Wesley and Burbot 0 for Sean. But nobody's keeping score. Okay, I'm just getting to my leader, guys. As I pull up. Oh, he's still got some spunk. Here he comes. I don't know how well you can see him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa! Sweet baby bourbons. That's a tank. You gotta just work on your Zen and you gotta focus with the burbot and become a burbot. And if you and the burbot make eye contact and have the same Zen, he will straighten out for you. Hey, Sean, what am I? I'm a banana. I'm a banana with a bruise. You know what this bruise is? This is Sean skunking. <laughs> I have not caught a fish today. But that's fishing. Wesley caught what? Four or five burbot? Five burbot. Do we count burbot as fish? Yeah, I guess we do. Because we got the, I got the world record. Guys, 2010, I caught a 25 pound burbot. That was the past. We are, were trying to break that today. How'd we do? Bruised your ego. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're closing the trip off here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Might be a little bit goofy, but what do you do? Thanks for joining. <laughs>